Creating content on Instagram just got easier. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how you can make 50, yes, five zero Instagram posts in five minutes using ChatGPT and Canva. You probably heard ChatGPT coming up all over the place and you are gonna see this huge swell of people moving to using ChatGPT and other AI services because it really just makes our time so much faster and so much more efficient. So as you're creating content, we should start using it. My name is Michelle Gifford, I'm a brand marketing strategist and I like using ChatGPT as a starting point for me as I'm creating content. It isn't my end point because, hey, I wanna infuse my own personality and I wanna make sure the content represents me, but using this tool to help you get started can make all the difference. So I'm gonna head over to my computer and we're gonna walk through how you can make 50 posts in five minutes using ChatGPT and Canva. So we're coming over to ChatGPT and we're gonna start a new search. Let's think of something that we want to teach about. So think about your niche and what you normally teach that you wanna have some posts about. Let's do like 50 women empowerment quotes. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna do 50 and then I'm just gonna hit send. Right now it's working on the 50 women empowerment quotes and it comes up with them pretty quickly. It's pretty amazing. All right, now that I have all 50 quotes, then I am just going to highlight all of them and I'm going to copy them and then I'm gonna come over to a Google spreadsheet and I'm just gonna paste them all in. Then I'm gonna come up to file and go to download and I'm going to come to CSV file, okay? I'm gonna hit there and it just downloaded it down here at the bottom. Then I'm going to come over to Canva and I am going to come up here and I'm going to do Instagram post and we don't want a square one. We don't use square posts in Instagram anymore because the portrait ones just take up so much more of the feed that it's better. Let's see. I kind of want to just do this one right here. Let's do this one. We're going to customize this template and I just found one that was a quote, right? Because all mine are quotes. So we're going to do that. We want to first customize this so it fits out our branding. So we'll come here and we'll do at I am Michelle Gifford because that's my Instagram handle. And then let's change this to my brand color. Then we're gonna click here and we're gonna come over to this bar. We're gonna click on apps and we're going to look for bulk create. Once I hit bulk create, I'm going to upload my CSV file. This is the CSV file I just downloaded right here. And we're going to upload it right here. Now I'm going to come over and click on these three dots and I'm going to connect data. It's this thing over here I'm connecting to. So when I do this, it connects them and then continue. And I get to choose if I want to connect all of them and I'm going to generate 49 pages. The reason why it says 49 is because we already have one that's 50. Then we're going to generate and just in a few minutes, it has generated all of these. So you will notice that there are some that maybe don't fit like this one. And so yeah, you're gonna have to take some time and rework some of them. But for the most part, you just created 50 Instagram posts in a matter of minutes. So this is great. You have a good starting point. But if all you do is use content that AI or other people have generated, you're going to lack that connection. And so you're always going to want to adjust. You're gonna to wanna to make this your own. And if you just had an Instagram feed of just one colored posts, it might not be very engaging. So you always need to add your personality. You need to add your spin. You need to add a hook. A really great idea would be my 10 favorite quotes to read when I'm feeling down or something like that that will get people to swipe through. And if you're getting stuck on creating really great hooks, I have a hook guide. It's my 131 hooks. You can get it by clicking the link below and it'll be delivered for free to your inbox. All right, so as you're doing this, what are the best practices for using ChatGPT? Because it's easy, it's efficient, but if that's all you're doing, is that really going to help you? So number one, what you search for, on ChatGPT and the way you search matters. When you're asking the questions, make sure that you ask some follow-up questions and dive deeper because it can generate some really great content if you ask it the right questions. Number two is to make sure that you are using ChatGPT as a starting point. It shouldn't be the end. You need to add your personality and your perspective. Number three is find ways to connect with your audience because marketing is changing and you're going to see that the power of connection is going to be the number one thing that people are going to turn to when they're looking to buy from people that they trust. There's already skepticism about ChatGPT and people using AI in their marketing. And the way that we're going to combat that is to have that connection piece. Infuse your content with your personality, with ways that people connect, with stories and things that will bring people in and keep them there. And lastly, make sure that you have some good hooks. Hooks are important. Hooks are the things that make people stop their scroll and want to learn more. If you want my 131 hook guide, click the link below. All right, my friend, thank you for joining me. Make sure you're subscribed and we will see you next week.